for all of the things that I'm about to talk about in this video, you would think that it wouldn't still surprise me that all of this is happening. But each and every time I see a news article and I'm bringing it to you, it is a surprise that people haven't figured it out that we're not ever going back to normal. This is the new normal. Expect more closures. Expect more cyber attacks. Expect the unexpected. And yes, it will surprise you sometimes. So let's just dig right into it. Hey, welcome back to Tommy Bikes TV. If you are new to the channel, welcome in. I hope that you consider subscribing to the channel and becoming a family member my one of my youtube cousins over here on time bikes tv and if you are returning welcome back and thank you for joining the family so this is going to be a quick video i will have other videos today so if you have not subscribed go ahead and hit it turn your notifications on feel free to like these videos and share them out because that does help the channel grow and get out to more people so there are closures that are happening left and right i just told you about red lobster told you about walmart closing more stores and now there is a grocery store chain that is closing 115 stores permanently within their chain just last month, I told you about Walmart closing their um, wellness health situations that they had going on. I don't know. I've never been to one. Haven't even seen one in person, but they were closing all of them. Okay. Now we have this grocery chain called Schnucks. Okay. I've only ever heard of a Schnucks when I'm watching <laughs> Um, all things Peggy 2 or Peggy and Don because she loves Schnucks. Well, Schnucks Markets announced last week that the grocery chain is abandoning its Eat Well Market concept. Eat Well, a banner on the Schnucks focusing on organic, all natural foods, even featuring locally grown items. They will shut their stores. Snooks has announced that it is abandoning its Eat Well stores in Missouri. Store closing signs are located on these particular Snooks. Eat Well was a concept started in 2020 focusing on fresh, organic, locally grown foods. The 40 employees whose location is shuttering will retain their employment. Um, the all-natural store had two locations in Missouri about an hour and a half apart in Chesterfield and Columbia, Missouri. The chain says it is planning to convert the store in Columbia to a traditional snooks and close the Chesterfield location for good. They say that there is good news for the employees, promises to keep people working and transfer them to other locations in nearby St. Louis. That is unlike what happens when a Walmart shuts down. Those folks typically, um, some of them continue to get paid if they decide to transfer and if they are approved for transfer, but there are some that have to reapply in order to work back at that particular store. So once Chesterfield is officially closed, the chain will be operating a total of 114 stores. In other news, we have where Walmart has shut down their um, care programs. There's another grocery chain that is going to pick up the slack and start care programs. This store is Kroger. Kroger has unveiled its new care program amid the closure of Walmart health centers nationwide. The health care initiatives is through the Little Clinic LLC and will see at least eight locations accessible to customers. They say senior shoppers in Atlanta, Georgia will be able to access the clinics within Kroger stores in the area per this press release. Kroger Health partner with Better Health Group, a primary care organization to create the initiative, the little clinic for its customers. Kroger said it aims to increase access to comprehensive senior focused primary care designed to improve health outcomes and patient experiences. Patients who attend any of the eight clinics in Kroger's stores will be allowed to extend in-person visits. 
The visits can include annual wellness checkups, disease management, preventive care, and other care plans. Seniors will also have the option to access Kroger health services like comprehensive medication reviews. Kroger also noted in the release that the initiative would have a priority focus on Medicare Advantage members and traditional Medicare. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think down below. If you are a senior or know a senior, do you think that they would take advantage of going to a Kroger as opposed to going to their regular primary um, person? Matter of fact, because on the weekends, you know, you get sick, whatever, you could actually go there and get some help. I'm personally thinking that these grocery stores are in a lot of trouble and they're trying these new care plans and programs in order to stay afloat and get more income coming in. What better way than to get that senior money, right? So good thing or bad, that is what's happening and in other news. So if you are new to my channel, you haven't seen some of the Walmarts that are closing down for this year so far, there will be more. Um, I'm going to rename the ones that have already closed down and just prepare yourself that more Walmarts in the future will be shutting down locations, crime, foot traffic, yada, yada. El Cajon, California, they closed the Walmart on February 9th. Columbus, Ohio, February 16th, West Covina, California, March 29th, Tolson, Maryland, April 5th, Granite Bay, California, April 12th, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, May 19th. Oh, I forgot the one, San Diego, California, February 9th. So they just recently closed one down on May 19th in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, or it is about to close. So if you're in that area, Take advantage of the sales, stock up your homes. Also, as a reminder, 99 cent stores are shutting down. Um, there's stores that have already been abandoned and being abandoned, shut down. In a statement made on April 4th, the brand's um, CEO announced that all 371 of their 99 cent stores will be shutting down. Many of the retail storefronts have already locked their doors for the last time. And for those remaining, it's a drastic difference from the busy aisles of shoppers that once highly successful brand had decades ago. And lastly, also this week, I told you about the Red Lobster that is shutting down many of the locations. I actually gave you the exact locations that will be shutting down. So go back and watch that video about the Red Lobster and the walmart so i'll see you guys in a video later today y'all take care i got some traveling to do but i really do need you guys to hit that like button help me get at least a thousand likes on this video or more in order to get this video pushed out to more people y'all take care stay safe keep prepping prep today so you are prepared for tomorrow drop a seed today so you can grow your food tomorrow i'll call you I've been giving you the worst Now you wanna stay tonight